Okay, we got a Arctic Cat 550 EFI 4x4, 2009 model. All the, took all of the plastic off on the back side to access the uh, fuel pump. It's right here. There's a retaining ring that goes on there um, and a little washer that goes on there as well. I've already pre-done that. Um, here is the pump and regulator that I took off. And here is the new quantum fuel system, fuel pump and regulator and uh, screen. So I've already disassembled to make sure that's what I needed to do. So basically you just take this connection off, which is your fuel line, and then take the electrical connection off here. Take a flathead screwdriver, pry this up right here. And you pull out this part here. Now you gotta be a little bit careful because the float is on there um, for gas gauge um, sensor. And so you gotta kinda be careful with that, take that out. And then this, this I, I already cleaned it, but the regulator, the pump goes here and here and it has a little clip right here that comes off. Right there. And the pump goes right in there. And then here is the regulator that came off of it. And then you'll put the new regulator on and that goes in this hole. So you're gonna have to make sure you clean that pretty good. Um, and then of course the filter would go on the bottom here um, like, like so, uh, on the new one. So right here, this would go on the filter there. You plug in your electrical connection, which is there, uh, put everything together and then reinsert it back in. Very straightforward. Okay. Once you get that done, you put everything back on, you put your pump in there, you put your regulator there, make sure you put the clip back on that holds it in. And then you come down here, you clamp it in, and I put a zip tie on there to secure it so it doesn't come out. You got your filter there, got your float, and you make sure you insert it the right way. Uh, make sure you don't forget your uh, O-ring that goes right here. Sorry for the video. Make sure it goes in there correctly. It's hard to do with one hand, but drop it in. Drop it in, make sure, make sure your um, float is pointing that way towards the left-hand side of the machine. You're gonna make sure you line these little tabs up right here and over here. You're going to push it down, make sure you got a good seal. And then you're gonna put retaining cover back on and then plug this back in plug your electrical component back in um, sorry right here into that and you should be good to go make sure you change this filter right here as well 